And welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're gonna learn Enjoy the Silence, the classic 1980s song by Depeche Mode. So, first, I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, with tabs right here, as usual. It goes like this Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so it starts with B minor and D. Okay, B minor and D. But you're not gonna play them like that. You're gonna play them like this. And I'm gonna tell you why it's this specific fingering in a second. But first, let me remind you of the completely free guitar workshop that I have prepared for you and that's waiting for you right now at lickandref.com. It's a full video series, it's completely free, it's an in-depth workshop, so open a new tab and go to lickandref.com and enroll into the completely free in-depth guitar workshop that I've prepared for you, my beloved Lick and Riffers, designed to break you free of confining guitar habits and guitar misconceptions and this workshop will enable you to start expressing yourself on the instrument, to bring your own natural musical creativity and express your own voice and find your own style and just unleash your personal musical vision on the guitar. And that will enable you to make any piece of music completely your own, instead of just repeating what other people play and imitating other people's styles, you'll be able to play the guitar your own style, your own way, and trust me, there is nothing else like it, like taking, like picking up your guitar and just playing it the way that you feel like playing it, instead of uh, feeling beholden to, you know, to play it like someone else, okay? I want you to play the guitar like you. So go lickandriff.com, enroll in the free workshop and break your boundaries and unleash your creativity on the guitar. Okay, I'm waiting for you there. Open a new tab and uh, now let's start enjoying the silence. So as I told you, you start with B minor and D, but it's not the normal B minor and D chords. It's these chords. Okay, or okay, there are several ways to do this. Now let's start with the D chord. Uh, the D chord is five seven seven on strings one two and three, with the open D string, the open fourth. Now if you look at this chord, um, there's a way to connect the B minor and D chords in a way that keeps most of the chord ringing and it's this okay it's not the most convenient shape okay but it's this it's your 
second, third, and fourth fingers, okay, these fingers, on strings one, two, and three, all on seven, with your thumb on seven as well, on the bass. Because then all you need to do is to take your thumb off, take the little finger off, and put the uh, four finger on five on the first string, and you have D. Okay, it might be inconvenient at first. Okay, you don't even have to um, put the first finger on. You can just, you know, have it on from the start, but that's even more inconvenient. So I prefer to just change. So if you do this, okay, you get both chords, okay, for the price of one position. Now, the thumb might be the confusing part for you, but using the thumb is uh, something that you should learn to do if you're playing finger style. Okay, so the easier way, the easiest way would be to bar seven. Okay, but then you have to let go of the chord when you change. So if you don't mind that the chord stops abruptly, then do it like that. It's the easiest way. But if you want to keep the chord going, There's something more fluid about this because the the notes keep ringing okay so the arpeggios okay, are very simple it's the bass note okay it's the sixth string for b minor uh it's b minor and you play strings three two three and then one and then three two three again okay that's the arpeggio or with your thumb. You can also use the first finger if you want. Um, so that's the opening arpeggio. Then you have this. Um, so this um, is um, not the most convenient shape because of the second finger, okay? It's two and two on strings two and five with four on the third string. And you play strings five, four, three, four, two. Okay, so... And then you have the D string and then it's four and two on the third string so you can play the D string in between or just four two on the third now you don't have to play the D string that many times sounds a little bit weird um, so find your own expression for this You can slide. Remember, you're not playing the original. You're playing an arrangement. So you can, you know, you can variate on this. You can create your own stylish variation. Shouldn't always stick to the original. Um, and you play this twice. Okay? You play the original arpeggio twice. Okay? And you play this twice. this okay it's two on the fifth string and then strings four three open and then zero four on the fourth and then you have the same D line and then once again okay? and again you can slide you can create your variations um, just test out your creativity, okay? Just try different things, experiment. And then you have 
Okay, it's uh, B minor again. It's the same idea. I'm using my thumb again. Okay, you can bar if you want. Um, it's the bass, and then it's seven, seven, eight, seven on the second string. So I'm harmonizing with seven on the third string, and I'm hammering on the eight. And then it's D minor. So it's the same idea. It's one, one, three, one on the first string. You can hammer on the three. This is D minor now. And then you have G with three, three on the second string. And then zero, one on the first, three on the second. Okay, you can hammer on the one. And you play this twice. Okay, so B minor, D minor, G, twice, and you play it again. Then you have E minor. Okay, so it's open strings. Strings one, two, three, and six. And on the first string, you play three, three, five, three. Again, you can hammer on the five. And then I use my thumb for G. Three on the bass. And it's the same line on the second string. Okay, three, three, five, three. This time on the second string. Again, you can hammer on the five. Okay, so E minor. G. B minor. Normal B minor. First string is your melody. And then right before the next chord, you play the second string. Okay? Three on the second string, it's inside the chord. And then you have this. Okay? It's D sus to D. Okay? D sus four to D. Um, which means you're putting on D and you're playing 3-2 on the first string. Now, I'm playing D over A. Okay, with A, with the fifth string, not the D string. Okay, so... Okay, that's the bass here. It's A. And then you play E minor and G the same way. B minor. And then... Two, three, two on the first string. Open, okay? Open first string and you let go of the chord and then you have B flat. Bar on one, A shaped, okay? You don't have to put the finger on the fourth, okay? On the D string because you're not picking it, okay? I'm just picking strings two, three, and five, okay? Giving it some space because if you play the whole block chord it sounds less finger styley okay there's no reason to pick it if you can just strum it okay but if you play this okay it sounds finger styley because it has space in it okay there are missing notes from the chord and that's um that's the arrangement. So go download the tab. The link is below in the description. Okay, it's for free. And you also have the free workshop. So um, lickandref.com, okay? One tab for the uh, workshop, one tab for the tabs. Um, enjoy, enjoy, and enjoy the silence as well. So I'll see you the next lesson. Bye for now, have fun. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye.